Jai Shri Ram. Trivia from the Mahabharata. While the war was raging, one day Yudhishthira got badly beaten up by Karna. Actually, Yudhishthira also defeated Karna in an earlier, uh, you know, face-off. But then uh, Yudhishthira later was badly beaten up. He was injured, and he somehow managed to get back to his tent, and he was receiving first aid. In the meanwhile, the information reached Krishna and Arjuna, and though they ran because they were anxious about the welfare of uh, Yudhishthira, so they went to the tent. And there, the moment uh, Yudhishthira saw Krishna and Arjuna, he thought they finished Karna. They have wiped out. They have killed uh, Karna, and so he was very happy, and he started praising. So Arjuna said, "No, no, nothing of that sort. We just came to find out how you were." So Yudhishthira lost his cool. He started uh, uh, shouting, if not abusing, at Arjuna, saying that you are good for nothing. What use is that Gandivam, which is another useless tool that you are carrying? Why don't you give it away to Krishna? Because at least he will do something worthwhile. You are good for nothing, and he started deprecating the Gandivam. So immediately Arjuna got terribly angry. He pulled out his sword. He wanted to behead Yudhishthira. Krishna asked, "What the hell are you doing?" Arjuna said, "Long ago, I made a promise to myself that if anybody abuses my Gandivam, my weapon, which is so heavy, nobody can even lift it. There were only three three people who can lift it. Uh, that is Bhima, Krishna, and Arjuna. Only three people could lift this uh, Gandivam. So it is such a powerful weapon. How dare he? Anybody who criticizes, ridicules my Gandivam, I promise that I will kill him." So he took out his sword. Krishna said, "What the hell are you doing? What kind of a silly promise have you taken long ago? Does it make any sense?" Arjuna was not willing to listen. Krishna said, "Okay, we'll do one thing. You can now roundly and soundly uh, malign Yudhishthira, slander, hmm? say all manner of things against him. Then, because you know, an elderly person, if he is subjected to that kind of uh, slander." Hmm, And disrespect, that is tantamount to killing him. So Arjuna started. Arjuna said many things. Hey, because of you, because we had to lose the kingdom. Draupadi was stripped, and and so on and so forth. Uh, Arjuna started ranting. <laughs> and after he finished the rant, he said, "Okay, now uh, I feel like killing myself." Krishna said, "Why?" Because he said, "You know, Yudhishthira is like uh, my father. He is equivalent to my father." And after abusing him so strongly, vituperating against him, I don't feel the desire to live anymore. This is a heinous crime I have committed. So I got to kill myself. So he took out the sword again. Krishna said, "Yeah, listen, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't get excited. This is the problem, you know, with most people these days. Get excited and in the heat of the moment say they will say many things, they promise many things. In the heat of the moment, when you are emotional." Don't say anything. No compliment. No praise. Nothing. Just keep quiet. Don't make any promises anyway. <laughs> Compliments are all right. So, Krishna said, "Listen, listen. Even for that, I have a via media middle path. Hmm? Quick fix is available. So, what is that?" Krishna said. Now start praising yourself. Yeah? Because self praise amounts to suicide. That's an important principle. Don't forget this. So, Arjuna started praising himself. I am the greatest archer on the planet. I am this. I am that. He went on and on, and after he got fully exhausted, he had ten names and he ranted out all those names, <laughs> and he felt, yeah, I am the greatest archer. I am so powerful, he, and everything. After he finished, then Krishna said, "Fine, now it's all over." The message here is, self praise is suicide, and abusing an elderly person is a tantamount to killing him. so please be careful never indulge in these activities sometimes elderly people have to be told politely what the truth is but there is no need to be abusive no need to use expletives okay so this is the interesting incident so krishna always has a solution for the seemingly unresolvable uh, problems so trust on krishna read the gita live by the gita and keep narrating these stories with your own masala add some more masala to it jaye sa harikate cha godi uthe nich navi aavadi samarth ramdas said every time you deliver a pravachan katha vachak if you are raconter if you are and if you have a chance to edify people with your speech and deliver a sermon 
always tell them nice stories from the puranas augment the stories with your own masala no harm but don't deviate from the central truths of the vedas or the gita so that that is a simple kind of concession suggestion to ensure that you are ever creative and your sermons don't become boring repetitions so that you don't become like a tape recorder who is going on and on jai shri ram